Most revolutionary, most advanced of all American spacecraft is the Apollo, the vehicle that will attempt to put this country's first men on the moon. Almost nine million pounds of thrust will be needed to propel the mother ship and the lunar landing capsule, now changing position in mid-flight, on their quarter of a million mile journey. Three men will ride the mother ship, called the command capsule. And at a speed of 18,000 miles an hour, the distance between the Earth and the Moon can be covered in some 15 hours. On reaching the Moon, the spacecraft goes into a 100-mile-high orbit. Two men will make the landing, while the third astronaut remains in the command capsule. The trailblazing descent to the moon is made by a combination of manual control and automatic systems. The lunar capsule will be able to maneuver much like a helicopter. It will hover in a fixed position if necessary, and it will move left or right so that the crew can select the exact point of landing. Once landed, before any other action, the men will prepare all systems for takeoff. Once this has been done, the great adventure can begin. The lunar pioneers will be instructed by the third member in the mother ship and by information transmitted from Earth. Photographs and samples of the moon's surface will be obtained. And apparatus for the continued transmission of scientific data back to Earth will be left behind. The two men will fire the launching engine at a precisely determined instant to make certain capsule and mother ship meet in lunar orbit. If all goes well, the two vehicles will dock in space and the moon explorers will transfer back into the command capsule. The smaller capsule will probably be left in orbit around the moon to save weight on the return trip. Following a mid-course correction and just before entering the Earth's atmosphere, the astronaut's capsule with the three men inside will separate from the command spacecraft and swing into its re-entry attitude. As the capsule streaks through the atmosphere, its heat shield turns fiery red then white hot. At 50,000 feet, a small parachute helps break the descent. Then three giant parachutes open, and much like the Project Mercury recovery, gently lower the capsule back to Earth, probably on land rather than sea, ending the dream of the centuries come true, a journey to the moon. <laughs> 